Hi TNT and the world, my name is Shea Akimiana Moon, also known as DJ Intellect Live. Well, when I hear the jump, you know why it has always go up when you see it, you know? So, I was born in Canada, that cold place, but raised right here in sweet TNT, you know? Um, I feel one of the main reasons I got into music was because of my roots, because my father, he hailed from Africa, a place called Nigeria, right? And my mom, well, she's from the sweet island of Trinidad and Tobago. And it happened, the music hit me when I went to Africa, when I was like 12 or 13, and saw a few of my family members trying something behind something that I didn't know what it was. But it was looking like vibes. And um, when I got back here, I realized that it had a few people like that around me playing behind that thing, whatever it was called. No, I I have been playing music years. I'm not talking about one, two, five, six. I'm talking about years. My first gig. First gig. Hmm. I think I was in Form 1. Form 1 or 2, boy. I can't remember. All I remember, it was a school party. And they say, hey, we know you just burn um, CDs and do cassettes and sing. You could bring music. I was like, yeah, he's a, a, a DJ. What's your name? I don't know name. I was like, all right, come and do what you have to do. So I, what I used to do home, I used to have two surround song systems. I stole the one from my house and my uncle gave me one. Yes, I had to steal it. Things were hard at that time. <laughs> right. So we used to either mix the CD or the cassette. We would stay up late at nights and record cassettes. And when the announcer starts to talk, we will cut it and then start back to record when the music starts back. No mixer. No screen. <laughs> no, nothing to cue. <laughs> Just play and low <laughs> and raise. That was my first gig. Right, and from there, I started to go to events not as a patron but as an aspiring DJ. So I'll be backstage, I'll be by the bar, I'll be final who's the promoters talking to them, you know. And uh, I now bounced up one DJ who was living close to me. I, if you remember, I live in Marbella, South Trinidad, right? His name C. Wiley's Music, you know, and C. Wiley. He used to DJ and MC for himself. So he used to show me how to do certain things, and that's where I got the technique to play and talk by myself. Nice. So, this big radio station decided to do a big, big DJ competition. And the winner was getting to play on radio, meaning a shift now. So you know me, I done boxing with all the big boys. So I said going up in the competition to win and get through. I am that confident because at that time, my career was at its prime. CDs, eh? I'm talking about CDs. So I go on in the radio station, you know, da 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 Thank, rest down my bags, bam, bam, bam. All the other DJs and announcers from the station, into that guy, you want to get through, dog. I was like, yeah, don't worry now, thank Open up my CD bags now. The, um, the manager. I wouldn't say, yeah, he comes in. Um, you yeah, know, you can't play on these, eh? You need to play on this. I was like, who's this? It's a uh, Scratch Live. Scratch what? But I know CDs. He tell me I have to come and play on their computer now. Now, I have never, ever, 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 ever seen Scratch Live in my life. In my life. So, all right, I go on. on. I said, all right, until I can see the same thing. Pause, thing, wheel, fader. Let me go. It's about 10 minutes I'm looking for a song. So it's real quiet on the air. And I'm searching. What? Boom. Bust out. I crying going down the highway. I sad. And that was my downfall. One, I, I got comfortable in my zone. And people were telling me I was doing that. I was like, nah, leave me. Uh, I know what to do. Uh, I'm good. Uh. But obviously, I was not. Within two weeks, I got my first deal, got my scratch life box, got a, uh, a new Mac 88, which is in the DJ school still. So, 
I decided to upgrade everything. And that is what I did. And then from then, when I got that Dell, hmm, felt like that. No. <clears throat> no. Hmm. After all those events, so in Miami, Canada, New York, Tobago, right? After doing all these things, right? Now, I'm happy to say that I have my own DJ school and we focus on helping youths learn to DJ and make them a better person. So that is what I do now and teach DJing and still do the lives and still have the talk shows and still have two children and still have a wife and have about, you know, and then have to maintain and then we have COVID. So this is the life I'm living and I have all balanced. This is why I'm saying, don't let what's happening now keep you down. They always have a way. And if you need a way, Intellect the Mogul is here.